So in today's class, we will discuss in detail the relationship between the average revenue and marginal revenue. And the secondly, and secondly, we will discuss the relationship between average revenue and total revenue. And thirdly, we will discuss about the relationship between marginal revenue and total revenue. So which is, you know, given or graphically presented here in figure 7 that is relationship between average revenue marginal revenue and total revenue curves so figure 6 will graphically give us the explanation about the relationship that is occurring between the average revenue total revenue marginal revenue all three of them firstly we will discuss the relationship that occurs between average revenue and marginal revenue so we have graphically shown the relationship between average revenue and marginal revenue on you know upper side of the diagram so Keeping in mind the relationship that we have discussed, you know, the three concepts of the revenue of business firms, you know, in this upper part of the figure 7, we have drawn a straight line demand curve facing a firm, which is also the average revenue. So the demand curve will be same as the average revenue curve of the firm, so which is a straight line d d dash downward sloping curve so since the average revenue curve is sloping downward to the right you know the marginal revenue curve as we have explained in our earlier analysis will lie below it so this average revenue curve is a downward sloping curve which is downward sloping towards the right since it is downward sloping towards the right the marginal revenue will also lie below the average revenue curve that we have discussed the marginal revenue curve will lie below the average revenue curve why this is because you know with the increase in the output or you know sale of a product when a firm increase the sale of output or product price falls as we have discussed earlier and price would mean marginal revenue will be less than the price that is why MR lies below average revenue curve further you will see from this diagram upper part of the diagram figure 7 that the marginal revenue is zero so MR is zero corresponding to the midpoint. So C is the midpoint here on the average revenue curve AR. So AR C is the midpoint. And at this midpoint, correspondingly, MR is zero at point N, which means that the marginal revenue is zero corresponding to the midpoint C on the average revenue curve so midpoint elasticity equal to one elasticity greater than one elasticity less than one we will discuss in the future i mean in the coming topic that is when we discuss about the average revenue total revenue marginal revenue and total revenue relationship so it will again be seen from this figure seven that corresponding to the middle point c on the AR curve, you know, the MR curve cuts the X axis. So corresponding to this midpoint C, correspondingly, the MR curve cuts the X axis at point N, indicating that it is equal to zero. Because O zero is the origin. When price elasticity is equal to one and at the downward sloping average revenue curve 
So, corresponding to this middle point C, the MR curve cuts the X axis at point N, indicating that it is 0 at point N when price elasticity is equal to 1. So, that is the relationship between the average revenue and the marginal revenue. Next up, we will discuss about the average revenue and total revenue. Again, this figure 7 also shows the relations between relationship between average revenue and total revenue. So the total revenue which is represented by TR here, TR is maximum corresponding to the unit elasticity point on the AR curve. So unit elasticity means elasticity uh, equal to 1. So at middle point or where price elasticity is equal to 1, the total revenue curve is at maximum at point H. That is what it means. The first point that you have to keep in mind. And we know from the relationship, you know, between the price elasticity of demand and total expenditure that with the fall in price of a product, you know, the total expenditure or revenue increases when in case of price elasticity greater than 1. And in case opposite to that, total expenditure or revenue diminishes when price elasticity is less than 1. So there are two cases that we have to understand here. Price elasticity greater than 1, price elasticity less than 1. And we have discussed unitary elasticity. At, at, point, unit, at point where elasticity is equal to 1, the total revenue is the at the maximum point at point H. And we have explained that you know, from the relationship between price elasticity of demand and total expenditure that with the fall in price, total expenditure or revenue increases in a case where price elasticity is greater than 1. So, total revenue is increasing here. You will see that it is rising. So, from D to C, elasticity or price elasticity is greater than 1. From C to D dash, it is a portion where price elasticity is less than 1. And total revenue or price, total expenditure will fall or will diminish when price elasticity is less than 1. That is depicted or indicated in the figure 7 in both the upper part and the bottom part of the figure. So, thus, in this figure 7, you know, beginning from, as I have mentioned, beginning from D to C, it is price elasticity greater than 1. And C is a midpoint where elasticity is equal to 1, unitary price elasticity. And from C to D dash going down, it is a price elasticity, price elasticity less than 1. It is a portion where price elasticity less than 1. So therefore, the total revenue will go on increasing as we descend from point D to the point C on the average revenue curve that is D, D does. So as we descend from D to C, then the total revenue will increase, will rise. But after reaching a midpoint at point C, going forward from C to D does, it is a situation where price elasticity less than 1, then total revenue will diminishes. So below the middle point C, on the D, D dash curve, price elasticity is less than 1. And then in that case, total revenue will therefore be diminishing as we move from C to D dash. It therefore follows that, you know, corresponding to the middle point C on AR curve, price elasticity equal to 1 as I have said that total revenue will be the at the maximum point that is at point H 
total revenue is maximum at point C that is middle point or where elasticity is equal to 1 so from the bottom of this figure 7 the total revenue curve starts from the origin it is rising till it reaches a maximum point H and then after reaching a maximum point it diminishes it declines to L at point L and meet the X exists at point L so it goes on rising it until it reaches its peak that is H so corresponding to the midpoint C of the demand or the average revenue curve D D dash drawn on the upper part of the figure so beyond this point H as I have said the total revenue curve starts declining until it meets the point L on the X axis here so it means that you know output O D dash this O D dash level of output or OL level of output at that point the total revenue is zero so at OD dash level of output or OL level of output the total revenue is zero this is because at point OD dash you know the average revenue or price is also zero the average revenue is zero here at OD dash and at OD dash level of output your total revenue is zero why total revenue is zero because your average revenue or price is also zero here od does so that is basically the relationship between the average revenue and total revenue so last we have the relationship between marginal revenue mr and total revenue that is tr so marginal revenue you know bears an important relationship with this total revenue and we have explained that marginal revenue means an addition made to the total revenue when an extra unit of output is produced and sold so when marginal revenue is positive when MR is positive before reaching at point L when MR is positive this part this portion DN portion when it is positive you know total revenue will increase as you see from the curve and when marginal revenue is negative starting from point n it is be below this x exists means negative when mr is negative you will see that total revenue diminishes or total revenue declines hence you know in figure 7 when in the beginning with the increase in output or with the increase in output and sales of the product you know the marginal revenue is positive and in that case total revenue increases and therefore total revenue curve tr slopes upward so in this first case as we increase the level of output in the first stage as mr is still positive the total revenue curve you know is rising upward when you know corresponding to the unit elasticity so unit elasticity is at point c e equals to one at this point corresponding to that the demand curve d d dash with the demand curve d d dash marginal revenue falls to zero so corresponding to this unit elasticity marginal revenue is zero at point n so marginal revenue falls to zero so total revenue reaches its maximum level when marginal revenue is at zero point the total revenue reaches its maximum point that is at point h corresponding to point n where mr is zero total revenue is at its maximum point maximum peak and when below the midpoint that is moving down from c to d dash and again price elasticity less than one beyond this midpoint that is beyond c or below midpoint c on the demand curve d d dash the marginal the 
the marginal revenue becomes negative so beyond this c beyond this midpoint c the marginal revenue becomes negative so total revenue will automatically decreases so this is evident from this diagram where you will see that marginal revenue though it is falling you know it is positive up to on level of output though it is falling it is still positive up to on level of output therefore you know from the bottom panel of figure it will be seen that the total revenue from this below panel the total revenue is rising up to on level of output so till this on level of output total revenue is rising so we are repeating again and again but beyond this on level of output you will see that marginal revenue becomes negative so beyond this on it is becoming negative so therefore the total revenue curve is also falling beyond this on level of output so it will further be seen again from this you know figure 7 that the tr which is the total revenue is maximum at output level on so at on level of output again corresponding to that total revenue is the at the maximum point and at the maximum of total revenue you will see that marginal revenue is zero so it may note that you know you have the, the scale the scale which is used for the measurement on the y axis in the upper panel will be different from the scale on the y axis which is used in the lower panel so the relationship that is existing between total revenue and mr is that when mr is at zero total revenue is at maximum and when MR is still ne uh, positive then total revenue is rising upward and once it reaches its zero point at point and MR is negative and when MR is negative total revenue will diminishes or decline and at point C which is unit elasticity then MR is zero and at a situation where MR is zero then total revenue will be at a maximum point that is at point H so those are the relationship between average revenue marginal revenue and then average revenue and total revenue relation between marginal revenue and total revenue